Welcome to my Baby Pips Forex Education video series where I provide video tutorials of all the Baby Pips Forex Education. And in this particular video, we're looking at the elementary section, grade four, and we're talking about moving averages. If you've missed any previous videos, the full playlist is down below in the description and it's also the pinned comment section. So in this particular video, we're gonna be talking about moving average envelope so if we open up that tutorial and if you guys remember from the previous videos we use moving averages to give us a direction of the trend and to filter out false signals there is no magic indicator but i like to use the moving average just to give me a sense of direction of where the market is moving now with moving average envelopes it takes a moving average at any period you want and it creates an upper and lower band you can define the shift of the moving average so you can say i want a one percent shift so what it'll do it will take the current moving average add one percent to give you your upper band and then also then minuses it from the current moving average to give you your lower band so why is this useful so this is useful because it uses it to confirm trend direction and to identify overbought and oversold conditions. So this full tutorial will be in the description down below. Now let's have a look at a live chart of the Euro USD and let's go into it in more detail so I can show you some live kind of examples of how you would use this particular indicator. So first thing you wanna do is when you go onto trading, if you go onto the indicators tab and type in moving average, envelopes there you see here i'm using the one from h potter it's the most popular one on there there's a number of them there but this is the one that's probably the most easiest and most useful so when you go into the indicator and you hit the settings if you can you put in the length of the moving average and the percentage shifts so in the tutorial it talks about a one percent shift and that's what i'll be using for this uh, particular tutorial and again, we've got the Euro USD up and you can see in blue here, it's got the 14 period moving average. And what it does, it takes the current value of that 14 period moving average, find out what a 1% move is and adds it for the upper band and takes it away or minuses it for the lower band. Now, if we go back to the tutorial, it mentioned that it does two things. One, it tries to look at the identification of a trend. And you can kind of see this with this price action for the Euro USD. If I get my trusted uh, paintbrush here, you can see that the, mo the moving averages in this section here, all three of them, the middle, the upper and the lower are all moving up. So this kind of gives us a significant indication that in this daily chart that we're looking at is the Euro USD is rising. So how can we use the envelopes to help us make a decision on this uh, particular trade? What we can do is when the lower band has been hit, that is a potential indication for a buy signal in an uptrend. And you can see this in this downtrend, you've got multiple hits of the upper moving average envelope for potential downtrends or entries or pullbacks inside the long-term trend. So that's how you would use moving average envelopes from a trend perspective. The other way you could do it is try to identify ranging markets. And a good example would be where we are currently with price action today. So you can see over the last few weeks that we have been kind of ranging in this situation. And you can see here, just get rid of these two lines, here you can see that we had a touch at the bottom, touch at the top, and now we live price action is showing that we've had four updates inside the Euro USD, and we are now getting an indication now to the upper envelope. My view would be because we've been ranging, is I would be looking to fade this move back down to the downside and looking for a potential short option. What I like to do, like I've mentioned in many of my videos, is like to use multiple areas of confluence. So I'll be using multiple indicators to help me decide on whether or not this is a particular trade. So one of them I like to use is the classic RSI. So if I get the RSI up here, and you can see here, the bit that is concerning me with this is that even though we have uh, a move up to the upper Bollinger Band, what we're not seeing, we're not seeing a overbought situation. So this potentially would, wouldn't say I wouldn't trade this particular setup. I would be going with a lower lot size than what I'm probably used to 
because I've not got what I call an A++ setup in this particular scenario. And again, you can even see it in these scenarios over here with these uh, with these pullbacks that we're seeing. We're not seeing the RSI creating that, but in a way that is a good thing of what we want to see when you're in a trending market. Similar to these situations over here is we're not seeing that over there. But what you are kind of seeing is that in this example, we are seeing the RSI making higher lows, which is kind of confluencing with what we want to do here. So that is an example of how you would use moving average envelopes. They are, again, another tool. They're not the be all and end all or no magic indicator. But again, it might be something that clicks with you in terms of your trading. So make sure you click the next episode in this playlist, which you'll see on the screen now. And I should see you guys in the next video.